Let's examine here this monumental illustrated periodical from 1928 known as the Asia Magazine. It was bound uh, in this single volume, all these loose issues, probably back in the 30s for an institution that at that time decided not to bind in the covers. So uh, this bound volume has 12 issues in it, uh, no covers, but it does have apparently all or most of the advertising as well as this profusion of black and white photographs of which no doubt many appear uh, in few if any other places. Um, there are articles about all regions of Asia, um, right, Mindanao, the Philippines, there, there's, for them evidently Asia meant Africa as well because there's things in here about Africa. <laughs> so I think they mean non-European or non-Western uh, is uh, all-encompassing, uh, primarily Asiatic, but there are some things about Africa I've noticed, at least one big article. Um, and here we see, I want to flip through it to give you an idea. Some of the ads, of course, are color, full page, like so, for travel or for automobiles, etc. Some of these images are really interesting. I'm sure these stories, many of them, are written by very knowledgeable people uh, in the field that they're writing about, that, went on, that probably have written books or were professors or something. Um, yeah, right, yes. Very interesting indeed. So maybe they're about Japan, all kinds of candid photographs of people, classrooms, social scenes, villages, groups of people gathered uh, that just simply uh, don't appear other places because they were likely commissioned for this uh, publication here. Uh, and we see here, here's the old binders tag on it. So I'll show you in a minute how it is. It's just a plain cloth binding, nothing terribly exciting, but uh, it does contain these 12 issues here of Asia 1928. And so this book is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.